Um, on this worksheet, oh, that's not what I want. Oh, I didn't record that. Bummer. Um, okay, number two, find the slope of the line. How do you find slope? What over what? Rise over run. Now, you're welcome if you want to just figure out what two of those numbers are and plug it into y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's way quicker to count your rise over run. So if I'm here and I go to here, because you always want to go from left to right, am I going up or down? Up. So that's a positive one. Okay. And then you always move right, and that would be a positive one also. So your slope is 1 over 1. Or you can just say it's a slope of 1. Okay, what would the slope of the second line be then? Number 3. It's not the same. Are we talking about the 1, 2, 3? Number 3, problem number 3. Oh. Are you going up or down? You're going down, right? You always want to start at the left and go to the right. So you're going down one. That would be a negative one. And then you're going one, two, three to the right. So if you're going down one over three, your slope is a negative one third. Okay? Why what? You always, the rule is you always start from the furthest left point that you can. Yeah, you always want to go left to right. Think of it like reading, right? We always read left to right. You always do graphs left to right, too, when you're finding slope. Okay, um, four and five. I'm just going to do one of these with you, and I'll let you do the other one on your own. What's the slope formula? Y2 minus Y1. Right. So that's what you're going to use on this. Um, if I were you, I would specify which is which. So you can call either one your x1. So let's say I call negative 4 x1. What is 5 then? Y1. y1, not x2, okay? Remember, every point is an x and a y. So it's x1, y1, and then this would be x2, y2. So if I'm plugging that into this formula, I'm doing y2, which is 1, minus y1, which is 5, over x2, which is 1, minus x1, which is negative 4, okay? So it's 1 minus a negative 4. And then here's where you have to be a little bit careful. Um, what's 1 minus 5? Negative 4. What's 1 minus negative 4? 5. 5, right? Plus a positive. Um, don't forget to do that. So your slope is negative 4 fifths. Okay, and then you would do the same thing for number five. Plug that into that formula. I'm going to not do that right now because I want to make sure we get to the other stuff. Um, six and seven, the slope of a vertical line is always what? What's the slope of this line? Undefined, right? Remember I said vertical, the V is kind of like a U. Um, so vertical is always undefined. What's the slope of a horizontal line? Remember horizontal has... A zero as its second letter, it's an O, but you know. Um, so the slope of a horizontal line will always, always be zero. Okay? Questions on any of that? Okay, so the only thing you need to do on that worksheet is find the slope on number five, which you can do right now while I pull up the other worksheet if you would like. Okay, are we ready to go or you need another second on that one? Um, okay, 5-3. It says find the slope and y-intercept of the graph. Um, what is the slope on number one? It's what? You didn't get that worksheet? Did everyone get this? That's why you had an extra. Thank you, Josiah. Um, sorry, say that again. Slope is what? 
quickly. I wanna, are you doing this on your own? Yeah, that's fine, go. Um, okay, so the slope is negative two, right? Whatever comes before the x. Is the slope negative two x? No, x is not part of the slope, okay? It's whatever comes in front of the x is your slope. So negative two would be my slope. What's my y-intercept? Seven, okay? Um, how about number three? What's my slope on number three? Negative seven. What's my y-intercept? Close, negative eight, right? If you have a minus there, that's essentially a negative eight because it's saying plus a negative or minus a positive. So your B would be negative eight on that one. Okay, um, and then the last one I'm gonna do with you on these is number five. It's Y equals negative nine. Now think Y equals MX plus B. Where's your X? It doesn't exist, right? That means we did what with it? Any ideas? Do you know where it went? What? How did we get rid of it? Not added, because if we added it, it would move to the other side, right? What do you, if I wanted to multiply by something to get rid of it, what do I multiply by? Zero, right? So if you multiply by zero, like zero times X is zero, the X went away. So when a problem looks like this, where there is no MX, that means it's because your M, your slope, was zero, um, and it got rid of our X, okay? So if you see a problem where it's just Y equals a number, your slope is zero. That's a horizontal line. What's the Y-intercept? It's not zero. Think of it in slope-intercept form. This would be Y equals zero X minus nine, right? That would equal y equals negative nine because this would go away. So your y-intercept is that negative nine that it's set equal to, okay? Um, because you're just plugging it into slope-intercept form. So if I, if I multiplied zero times x, that goes away, but you still have a b there. So if it's y equals b, that's y equals negative 9. That negative 9, then, is your b. Okay? Okay. Um, I'm going to let you do 2, 4, and 6 on your own because those are quick. What about um, number 7? If you need to write an equation um, in slope-intercept form with number 7's numbers, what's that going to look like? negative 5x, right, because your slope is negative 5 there. So y equals negative 5x, and then you can say plus a negative, or you can just say minus 6. So either plus a negative 6 or minus 6, okay? Um, we'll do one more of those. Number 9, y equals what? 0.4x minus 9, okay? Okay. Um, and I'll let you do 8 and 10 on your own because those are pretty quick. Okay, 11 and 12. These are the ones that I feel like can be a little tough at times because it's hard to know exactly what to do with it. So if you're doing slope-intercept form, that's y equals mx plus b, okay? We want m and we want b to fill in. So you need to find your slope and you need to find your y-intercept. What Do you know your y-intercept right now? It's one, right? It's where do I hit my y-axis? So this right here, that's my b. So b is one, okay? Um, then from there, you have to find the slope. And the way you find slope on a problem like this is you pick another point that falls perfectly on a t, perfectly on like crossbars, okay? So that could be this point right here, for instance. How do I find the slope between those two points? Think rise over run. What would my slope be? Up two over one. So you would go positive two, positive one, right? So my slope is two over one. You can just call that two, okay? So I have a slope of two, 
a y-intercept of 1. So what is that equation going to look like? y equals what goes before my x? 2, right? That's my slope. That's going to go here. So y equals 2x plus my y-intercept, which is 1. Okay? Let's do number 12. If I want to put it, again, into slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, I need m and I need b. What is my b right now? What's my y-intercept? Where am I hitting the y-axis? Negative 2. Okay, that's right here. This is negative 2. So b is negative 2. And then you need to find your slope. And like I said before, you want to work left to right. So I'm going to find another point. I'm going to use this point right here. Um, but you could use this point right here. But I just want to show you something using that first point that I said. Um, if I'm using these two points, which one am I starting at? The left. We want to start farthest left. So from here to here, I need to go down 2. What is down 2 going to be? Negative. So negative 2. And then to the right 2 is a positive 2. So my slope is negative 2 over 2. What's negative 2 over 2? Negative 1, right? Negative 2 over 2 is the same as negative 1. So my slope is negative 1. My y-intercept is negative 2. So if I put that into slope-intercept, what's it going to look like? Plus a negative or minus 2. Okay. Technically here, guys, you could write it like this. So either one of these answers would be just fine. Um, you don't have to put the 1 in because it's a negative 1. You can just put the negative in front if you want, but either one of those is fine. Okay? Okay, um, 13 through 16, these are the ones that are a little tougher for a lot of people, and I don't really want to do a 0, 0, 1. So let's start with um, 15, and we'll go from there. Um, if I ask you to put this into slope intercept form and all we have are two points, you need to find your slope and you need to find your y intercept. How can I find my slope if I have two points? That's this guy, right? y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to do x1, y1 for one point and x2, y2 for another point, and plug that in. So what's y2 minus y1 right now? Eight minus 10. Right, so you're going to go 8 minus 10 over, what's x2 minus x1 right now? Minus right. Okay, so if we simplify that, you get negative 2 over 4. What's negative 2 over 4? Reduce, right? Negative one half. Okay, what is that? What did we just find? That's your slope. That's m. Okay, so that's one part of it. Now we have to find the b, but we have two points to work with. So remember, this is where we said here's slope intercept, y equals mx plus b. I'm going to plug in what I know. So if I'm using this point as my x and y, and this as my slope, it's going to be y, 10, equals negative 1 half times x, which is 12, plus b. Okay? What's negative 1 half times 12? Negative 6. So you have 10 equals negative 6 plus b. How do I solve for b? Add 6. So you're going to add 6, add 6. You get 16 equals B. So what is slope-intercept form right now? Beautiful. Plus 16. Okay? Hopefully you wrote that all down because you're going to do that same process on those other three. Okay? Um, okay, I want to do... 
one of these with you also. Um, this one, you're graphing the equation. So this is number 17. What do you plot first in this? The slope or the intercept? First, you do the y-intercept. Okay, second, you do the slope. So what is my y-intercept right now? Not two, negative two, right? So if it's a negative two, you're going to go down two and put a point there. What's your slope right now? It's not x. It's one, right? There's this imaginary one in front of our x. Um, so if my slope is one, that's up one over one. So you're going to go up one over one, and you get that point. Up one over one, you get that point. Up one over one. You can do that as many times as you want. Um, your line, I prefer a straight edge, but this is not going to be a straight edge, sorry. Um, so that would be your graph of it. Okay? Let's do one more of those. Any preference on which one? Okay, so number 20, what's your y-intercept? It's not negative 2, right? So negative 2 is my b, so I'm going to go down 2 and plot that point. What's the slope? It's negative 3, no x, right? Negative 3, which is like negative 3 over 1. You have to put the 1 there, okay? So if I go negative 3 over 1, I'm going down 3 to the right one, and that would get me this point here. Now, if you want another point in there, we can't do any more points down here because we run out of room, but you can go the opposite way. So left one, up three, left one, up three would put me here. Um, you're welcome to do that if you would like. So that would be your graph. Okay, questions on that? Okay, your homework is finish those four graphs, finish those three problems, um, and then finish these guys up here. And I think there was one on that first page if you didn't find that slope on 5-1. So finish the worksheet, 